Hello students, today we are going to start with our uh, new lesson of civics that is the lesson number 4, understanding laws. So here we are going to uh, get to know about what the uh, laws are there and how the laws are made. Okay, so uh, I would like to introduce you the lesson that is what an anarchic state is almost like a jungle. Anarchic means what? Where there is no any kind of control over anything. Okay, so that situation will be just like a jungle. So where uh, power is only criteria for the self, uh, survival and the weak is always at the mercy of the mighty. Means the powerful always used to dominate over the weaker one. Just like in jungle, the uh, wild animals means what? The whoever the powerful that is the, like the tiger or uh, lion etc. They used to dominate over the other herbivorous animals. Okay, so to check the arbitrary and Auto, uh, autocratic con uh, conduct of the powerful few, the foresighted members of the society develop a set of rules and the regulations for all, which is termed as law of the land in context of a country. So, to avoid such type of a condition, just whatever thing happened in the jungle, that should not be happened with the human society. So. Whoever the persons who uh, form that laws, they uh, foresighted the uh, means they wanted to control over these uh, arbitrary and the autocratic conducts. Arbitrary means what? That uh, who, uh, who is out of control means what? The uh, group of the members who used to take the decisions on their own only. So they wanted to control all this and for this. They set a, or a developed a set of a rules and the regulations for the society, and that is known as the law of the land of that country. Okay, so thus in this way, what we can say that law is what a critical to regulate our lives as well as to guarantee the liberty for all. So the law is nothing but only that set of rules and the regulations who used to guarantee the freedom for all on an equal level. So the law is simple words that means what a system of rules which is important for governing a civilized society or country. So the laws or the rules and the regulations are very important for a part of our lives. So we are going to see the next point that is the rule of laws. So what the rule of law is, is there? So at the time of framing the constitution, the members of the constituted assembly stated explicitly that in independent India, there would be no possibility for arbitrary use of authority. Okay, so what they make the confirm or assure about the, means whoever the constituted assembly was there, they who used to draft the constitution or form the constitution, they were very much sure about that there should not be any kind of arbitrary situation in our society. So as the arbitrary use of power infringes upon the basic principles of democracy. So that infringes means if a particular group of a section uh, of the society will start to dominate over the other sections then it will be against a principle of democracy. So what the democracy means? Democracy means what? It is the equality should be there in the society. So to ensure this rule of law, the framer made a quite few provisions in the constitution. So to avoid system of the situation, the constitution makers made some provisions in the constitution. So the most important provisions among all these are, is what? That all the people are equal before the law. So this is very important, which is considered as a considered as a base of the democracy. So equality is a base for the democracy, and that equality should not be means uh, that should be what irrespective of religion, region, caste, or gender means then that type of discrimination should not be happen in the society in any case. So whether it is a government official 
or a wealthy business person or a president of a country nobody is over or above the law so in fact there is a well organized process to deal with any violation of law and to penalize the guilty this is what the laws are equal for all though that person the whoever the person who found guilty uh, if that person is a, a prime minister of a country or a ordinary person of a country that law will be applicable on an equal level to both of these so the supreme court acts as the guardian of the constitution and uphold the law of the country so the supreme court is the guardian of the constitution okay so now we are going to learn about the laws in ancient india which what we are going to uh, move into the past what the situation it was there in our country so let us look at the social laws the prevalent in the uh, ancient india and how they were different from the current laws so what the differences were there in the ancient times there were the numerous overlapping local laws and the various communities enjoyed the different levels of autonomy in administering these laws means what the uh, caste system it was there and there uh, means the laws were change, changing from one place to another place okay so uh, particular uh, communities were enjoying over enjoying the uh, autonomy okay so the religious background and the caste were often the criteria for fixing the penalty to be rewarded and it was not unusual for the two people getting the dissimilar punishments for the same crime in general people from the lower segments of the society were more harshly penalized so what this shows us so uh, we can get know that whoever the persons from the higher caste or the communities they were enjoying the more and more autonomy than the lower caste community so the laws were different for the highest uh, class community and the lower caste community so that was very usual that two persons for the same crime from the different communities used to get the different penalties or the punishments okay so the harsh punishment it was there for the lower caste people okay now uh, we are moving towards the next point that is the post independence era okay what happened after the independence so after independence the constitution served as the framework for our elected representative to make laws okay so the elected representatives they you know means the constitution whatever it was for they used to uh, uh, be a guideline for these representatives since the independence with changing times innumerable law, new laws have been made and old ones have been ratified so as per the uh, need of a time the old laws were cancelled or some changes made with the old ones and some new laws also add with the constitution that is what the time demand so one such a law is the hindu succession amendment act hindu succession amendment act of 2005 so according to which the female members enjoy the equal share in the family property so as per these laws the female uh, are also having the right to get the uh, equal share of the property from their parents so similarly many new laws related to controlling pollution assuring employment opportunity to all protecting the consumer right and right to information etc have been enacted from time to time so all these new laws added with the constitution as per the time demand okay or the requirement now we are moving towards the new point that is the making of new laws okay making of new laws so in india parliament plays a crucial role very important role in preparing an uh executives executing that laws executing that laws so a law is at first introduced in the form of a bill bill means nothing but only a set of a document okay that it is a set of a document 
that is for, uh, proposal for a new law. So there are the two types of bills. That is, one is the ordinary bill and the another one is the money bill. So what the ordinary, ordinary bill? So that is what draft proposal for ordinary legislation means what? That uh, the issues or the matters which are not related with the money. So that are considered as a ordinary. So that can be introduced in any house. Means in Rajya Sabha or Lok Sabha, anywhere. Then the next one is a money bill. Money bill contains the provisions related to tax regulation, borrowing of money by government, budget, etc. So this is what uh, the issues or the matters which are related with the money is called as a money bill. So that can be introduced only in the Lok Sabha, not in Rajya Sabha. The Rajya Sabha can sit over a money bill means they can uh, discuss over the money bill uh, only for the 14 days and after the expiry of this given time the bill is assumed to be passed by the Rajya Sabha so it is automatically passed by the Rajya Sabha so as discussed this is independence the parliament has played a crucial role in the enactment of the laws means what the parliament is playing a very important role in the formation of the laws at times diverse social and the welfare groups to express their concern and put pressure on the government to enact the laws for general welfare of the public. That means what the people uh, as they are uh, in their day to day lives, if they found any kind of problem, uh, then they can ask the government for such type of a uh, laws to be formed. So the diverse social and the welfare groups also uh, express their concern and they can put the pressure on the government for a particular kind of a law. So in such case, the government needs to be receptive and understanding towards the troubles of the public, but at the same time, it should not be inclined towards any particular faction. So that is what, this is what the responsibility of a government. Okay, means the government should get to know about the uh, demands, needs and uh, problems of the uh, society but at the same time they should concern about all the population at the same time. So here we are going to stop the remaining part of the lesson we will see in the next part. Okay, thank you.